Remember, Janet Yellen was really pushing hard for the Fed to raise rates in the summer. And, and at one point, Wall Street was okay with it. The market was starting to rally. All bets have been off since that lousy jobs report. And now the big question, how will the Brexit play into this? Remember, we're watching this. And Trish, you're going to be covering this live on your show. Uh, yeah, you know, it, this, <laughs> the Fed, as I've said all along, they kind of like to have their cake and, and eat it, too. Because on the one hand, they're like, hey, hey we're going to raise, we're going to raise. We promise we're going to raise. And then it <clears throat> doesn't exactly happen because there's other things that get in the way such as our current economic situation, the jobs report being one example of that, but also Brexit. I mean, that is a big deal. I can't tell you how many investors I'm talking to that are very worried about the ripple effect of, uh, and what that's going to mean, not just for European markets, but our markets here. So how can the Fed right now move on rates? How can they you know, make our currency, which is what the, the effect would be, sure. any stronger than it is right now, given what Europe could potentially experience? I just don't see how they can do it. You know, Gina, also, this is a, a, an election year, and you know, you go back to the uh, uh, Bush, uh, the, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll come back to that. Let me ask you, because when uh, George Bush Sr., right, mm -hmm. uh, one, he had an amazing approval rating. All of a sudden, it evaporated, and a lot of people point to the fact that the Fed raised rates going in an election year, and the economy turned, and they blamed him, and a lot of people blame the Fed. The Fed is loath to take action this close to an election. Especially if they are concerned, if they're really aware of trying to get a Democrat in the White House again come November. But I think that you, that Trish hits on it, as she always does, that the Federal Reserve really wants to raise interest rates, that, they, that they've been talking about it and talking about it, uh, particularly since they hiked in December. So it might not be now which it certainly won't be, but it could be. It could be later in the year, and they could do it in, in December for sure. But I want to point to the retail sales numbers. The retail sales numbers weren't awful yesterday. I mean, they weren't awful, but you back out gasoline, and you still had the same sort of story, right? Now, people spending money at restaurants. Online, uh, though, 1.3%. Online was good. Online. Restaurants okay. were good. You know, but everything else was mundane. Everything else is muddled. It wasn't the kind of thing you could say, hey, we've got a runaway economy here. Yeah, no, we don't. Uh, we don't. And we don't have runaway inflation yet either. I mean, you're getting a little bit of inflation. We saw a little bit of an uptick in wages in the recent jobs report, but it's not enough to say, okay, we've got to rein this economy in. Unfortunately, um, they were so aggressive for so long, and yet they were the only game in town. Right? I mean, you had no one from Washington giving them a helping hand. And so the Fed was going it alone. You need fiscal and monetary policy to work together. In this case, you didn't have that. And so we're now in an anemic growth situation at best with you know, a number of economists, as you sure. guys know, saying the, the potential for a recession is still very real. So how do you move even if you want to? The problem I can make the argument because these are still crisis level rates yes. and we're not in a crisis. I mean, it might be loud. The problem is if you print up three or four trillion dollars and it doesn't help Main Street, but it puts them at risk, even the Fed knows they've got to find a way to reel that, that this, in. This entire monetary policy since the financial right. crisis has been just them sticking it to savers in this country. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Donald Trump. Helping the investing class, really. He may come to the rescue.